so your girl has been 25 for eight months now and boy do i have a lot to share uh wow this is so funny i know you think it's crazy that i'm making this a big deal but then i went through a lot of changes i read a lot and i once read somewhere that once you turn 25 you start experiencing changes physical and mental changes like it literally happens and i'm speaking for myself this happened to me so I really want to share with you guys what I went through. My body changed on my birthday. I remember like two days before and two days after I was like going through changes. The clothes that I used to fit weren't fitting anymore. Like things that I used to wear two weeks back, I couldn't fit. And no, I didn't change my diet. I didn't start exercising or doing anything different. It was all the same, but I felt myself I, like, I'm not talking about feeling only. I could see my body change. Not only did my body change, the way I was now thinking changed. I started looking at things differently. All of a sudden, I wanted to, to be married. <laughs> I wanted, I genuinely wanted to be married. I wanted to own a house. I was now looking at interior deco. I was now looking at baby showers, weddings, all that stuff. Like it didn't make sense but i wanted it i guess i wanted to embrace that responsibility hormone that comes with maybe turning 25 or becoming an adult i don't know i honestly don't understand who that girl was and i was now more focused i started having like proper vision boards a goals list bucket list weekly to-do list daily to-do list like i'll check things off it was really motivating me i wanted to get things done i even decided to quit my job because i couldn't see myself in the same position that i was in two years later because now i had bigger dreams this girl grew up that's when i became an adult and i i started understanding a lot of things when i turned 25 like literally after i turned 25 you know i really wanted to be someone not just go with the flow that teen who used to go with the flow was so dead and gone a lot of things changed here yeah? friendships relationships family relationships careers but I will not get into the details of that, but rather share with you what I felt and what I learned during that period. I say during that period because now I feel that I'm back to normal. I do feel burnt out, but I'm more level-headed and that fear that I'm running out of time has subsided. I'm in full control now. So these are the lessons that I learned. You're not as reckless as you were when you were 20 or 23. Now you think before you act, and this is based on past experiences, not because you're pretending to be someone you're not, although you may feel that way, because you're in a different place in your life. And that reckless person is still there, but now you need to tame her. So it's it's really confusing because you're feeling like oh no i'm still young but at the same time you're like no i'm an adult now i need to really think about my actions before i do anything and also this young voice in you is screaming you only live once but you're now mature enough to know that you live every day but you only die once when you turn 25 or at least when you're around that age that's when you start knowing yourself like really knowing who this person is, what works for you, who you want to spend your time with, what you want to spend your time doing, what you want in a job, in a relationship, in friendships, and what you tolerate and what you don't tolerate, what puts you off. You know, like you can control yourself now. You really know who you are. And you're also, you, you, you might not know who you are 100%, but you're learning and you're being patient with yourself. You are really embracing who you are and teaching yourself new things. And unfortunately, at this time, this is when people around you expect to commit to something. They expect you to commit to a job, to a relationship, to a friendship, I guess. People should be allowed to change because we're growing, we're learning new things, we're meeting new people, different people, we're learning new culture. And in the day and age of social media, we see different things and we allow ourselves to learn, to grow mentally and I don't want to say physically, but yeah, you can do that. So we should be patient with each other as we grow into the people we want to be. This stage is when you feel the most liberated because you're an adult, but also pressured because of your fear that this is the youngest you'll ever be. And considering that you're growing older, you literally may not have this chance anymore. Turning 25 is crazy because you're trying to figure things out and you're pressured because you think everyone around you has it figured out. But... <laughs> You wake up and smell the coffee and realize, no, no one has it all figured out. They're all just going with the flow. So it's okay. Take your time. Relax. Chill. You know, like just, just enjoy the phase that you're in. Trust me, it's going to be okay.
when you turn 25 if you're single that is you don't want to get married do you want to have babies you just want to start a new life but at the same time you want to explore you want to date you want to travel you want to do all sorts of things because you're still single you're alone you don't have responsibilities or anything like that you're also fighting the biological clock so you're not sure what to do with this confusion maybe you already have a kid or whatever but i won't speak on that because i don't know but basically you're in a state of confusion because you don't know what exactly you should be doing but also there are no rules so you're really freelancing so to say so now you're at a stage where you're beating yourself up about those missed opportunities but you also feel like if you work hard now you can get more of those you realize you're so ignorant and unaware of what was happening around you you're only now comprehending the importance of those networking events that you were forced to attend at school or during internship you're wiser now but don't really have all those readily available for you but the good thing is when the opportunity does arise you know you're now more prepared you're more alert and you can confidently go for whatever it is you want to go for. so on the topic of friendship uh unfortunately friendships become harder because some people are busy some people are really lonely and you cannot merge the two because those who are busy are focusing on their lives and they really do have important things going on and then the lonely ones probably are still finding themselves and it's difficult to get to a certain point without support from other people or whatever the reason may be so i will talk about this in a different video because it's something i've always wanted to talk about but anyway um it's also a funny thing because you're meeting new people you're forming new friendships and these new friendships change your life in ways that you could have never imagined now lastly you realize that everyone around you is growing up it's not only you your parents are growing older and that means less time together than we believed we had and that changes the relationship we don't fight as often your younger siblings aren't young anymore they're dating sneaking around they're getting jobs they're graduating we all age at the same rate numerically but we must internally stay forever young otherwise each birthday will get more depressing and i don't want it to be that way as it should be celebratory so i'm an actual adult now turning 25 makes you realize how long you've been out of college no longer just a couple of years removed from being a kid you have a good chunk of time under your belt to have carved a path forward for yourself as an adult so many questions run rampant through our mind did i choose the correct career will i ever be able to support myself fully are my living arrangements up to snuff compared to my peers and friends from my schooling years should i have my own family by now you're no longer a kid and certainly not fresh out of school in any longer i'm an actual adult now being 25 means that two years is now a very small period of time in your life from this perspective everything then goes by in the blink of an eye i actually can't stand being 25 because it feels like i've just turned 20 and those five years that have since passed would then go by as quickly in the future lending me at 30. perspective of time is a crazy thing if you have a birthday coming up whether you're older or younger than 25 try not to blow it out of proportion like i've been doing live in the moment and stop thinking about what's in the past or in the future i'll try take my own advice if you have any advice of your own birthday anxiety list your thoughts in the comments down below thank you for watching and i really do hope you enjoyed this